Today I'm going to show you how to install a watt meter on your solar panel setup. So let's come round to the inside of my cabinet. So here you can see my cabinet setup. I have my battery here, my charge controller here, and then I have an exhaust fan here since this is an enclosed unit. Um, a couple of switches. I mean, I'm not going to really go into too much detail about this because I'm going to do a separate video on this. Uh, but what I want to show you is how to install a watt meter. And it's actually a lot simpler than you think. Um, on here you have a source and a load. The source is your battery. The load is through to your charge controller. So basically all you need to do is wire this in between your battery and where it connects to your charge controller. This will then measure how much power is going into the battery from the charge controller, which of course is your solar power, and then how much power is being taken out of the battery to power your various loads, whether it's lighting or um, you know, an AC inverter, anything like that. So the first thing we need to do is extend these wires. Now on my source side, I want those to connect to my battery. So I'm actually going to solder them onto these uh, existing clips that I've got and make use of those. And then I'm going to extend them a little bit on the other side to go through to my charge controller. So let's go and get the soldering iron. Now before I solder the watt meter, I actually want to extend the length of the uh, ground cable going to the battery um, because I want to put the watt meter at the top of the cabinet and the current wire wouldn't be long enough. So I'm just going to extend this wire first. Just tin my iron. Okay, just wait for that to cool down for a second. And I'll just wipe off the uh, flux. So this solid connection, nice shiny finish. So what I do is I just bring the heat shrink over the connection and then use my lighter to shrink that tubing. There you go, you can see it's shrinking. And that's a nice finished connection. Now we have a, a much longer cable and uh, that would be a lot more useful for us since we want to mount this somewhere else. So what I'm going to do now is tin both of the wires that are going to go to the battery. So let's just put a little bit of flux on them. In fact, I should really twist that a bit more first. Okay. Now let's apply our solder so we can tin the ends. Just tin my iron. There you go. Let's tin the other one. There we go. So now we're ready to connect these battery leads to the source of our watt meter. So that will connect to these ones here. Okay, there we go. We'll start by doing the positive lead, which is of course going to go from our battery to the source lead here. Oops, before I do that, I want to put a piece of heat shrink tubing on here. I mean, we can cover up the connection later. I'm also going to shorten this tinned lead a little bit. There you go. Just wait for the iron to heat up, melt a little bit of solder on the iron just to help the heat flow. OK, 
है There you go. Got a nice. Oh, that's really hot. Got a nice, uh, strong hold there. Now let's do the other one. So a negative lead this time. Again, I'm just going to shorten that just a little bit. There you go. <clears throat> now let's solder that one. Oops. Again, nearly forgot. I need the um, the heat shrink tubing. So cut some of that, put the heat shrink tubing on our negative lead, slide that down. Now let's solder the lead. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yep, that's a nice finish. So now both of our leads are soldered. We just bring up the heat shrink tubing to cover them. So slide this up over the connection, same for the other one, slide that over and then we'll just heat those with the lighter. Just use my helping hands, Oops. My light is a little bit low on gas. There we go. We've now done the source side or the battery side. We've got some nice strong connections. So let's just hook that up to the battery just like that and see what happens. Okay, so let's hook our watt meter up to the battery like this. You'll see that the display is turned on and it's reading a battery voltage of 12.93 volts. So now let's extend the leads on our other side which will go to our charge controller. So just like before we're going to start by tinning our extension wires. I put a little bit of flux on them and then let's tin them. Let's wait for my iron to heat up. See the measurement here. Okay, let's tin the iron a little bit. Okay, that one's done. Tin the iron a little bit. There you go. Both of those are now tinned. And just like before, I'm going to shorten the length just a little bit. Oops, a little bit more off that one, I think. So there you go, there's the tinned wire. And then let's do the same for the next one. Oops, sorry. There you go. So let's put our watt meter back in the holder. And this is our load side, which will be connected to the charge controller. So let's go ahead and connect our new wires, our extension wires. A little bit of solder on my iron. And then, oops, actually, that angle's not really much good, so uh, let's change that a little bit. Okay, there we go, that's better. Let's uh, go ahead and join these wires. Good connection. Let's move on to the next one.
There we go. It's a nice connection. <coughs> okay, so let's put some heat shrink tubing over those connections. One covered. It's the other. Now let's just shrink the tubing with our lighter. It's one. Here's the other. So now we have our watt meter ready to be connected. So on this side of the watt meter, we have our battery clips going straight to the battery. And on the other side, we have our two extension wires ready to go into our charge controller. And it's as simple as that. So let's go ahead with that. Okay, so here's our watt meter. First thing I'm going to do is connect it to the charge controller. So obviously we've got red to red and then black to green, so green is our ground lead. So let's go ahead and connect that to the charge controller. There we go. Now all we have to do is connect it to our battery. It's got our handy clips. You see the charge control is just turned on because it knows it's connected to the battery. And here we have measurements. So we can see we've got 12.91 volt on the battery. Um, and you can also see we're using 2.5 or 2.8 watts. Now what that likely is, is um, for example, let me show you. Down here, I have a little Raspberry Pi, although the Pi is not running, the fan is running. Then I also have a DC to DC converter here, which is uh, 12 volt to 5 volts. So that uses a little bit of power when it's turned on. Um, and then, of course, the charge controller itself uses a little bit of power. So if we have a look at the watt meter again, you can see we're using a steady 2.4 watts, or it's jumping around a bit, um, battery voltage. And then you can also see how much um, power you've used, for instance, over the day and so on. Um, obviously, it depends on what features your, your specific watt meter has. But it really is as simple as that to wire. You just have the battery on the source side and then your charge controller on the load side. And everything else works as normal. As far as the charge controller is concerned, it thinks it's connected straight to the battery. Um, and this inline watt meter does everything you need. So if you did enjoy this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. But of course, I don't want to have to open my cabinet every time I want to check the watt meter. So I've mounted it on the side here. And then you can see it from outside. The only thing that I might do, or I will do for sure, is add a small window here and I'll make sure that that's um, watertight around there just to prevent any water from going inside the cabinet. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe.